I hate clicker games. This video shows you how to make one. This video is targeted towards beginners in Game Maker. The final product for today's part will look like this, where you click on a cookie and the number goes up. If you click elsewhere, it doesn't work. Your screen right now, if you've just opened Game Maker, should look like this. If you wish to start, you click on the new button or you go file, new project. You type in the name that you want. Let's call it Candy Clicker because I've already used the name Cookie, I believe. And your project will open up like this. You'll notice a bunch of folders here. You can keep them all or you can delete them all. It is up to you. I'm going to delete almost all of them. You'll notice that I'm keeping the rooms folder, which already has something in it. It's got this first room. This is automatically set at 120 times 120 in terms of size, width, and height. You can change this to whatever size you wish to have. Uh, and also your game will not start at 120 by 120. That's just how I've set things up for my system because I went to file and preferences and I changed it there, but that's not important for this tutorial. I'm going to call this room underscore game. It's important to have some sort of naming convention that is similar between all your objects and sprites and all these assets over here. As you can see, all of my things start with something underscore something, which helps describe it and organize things. If you wanted to, you could also call everything like with a capital letter or something similar, as long as it's a pattern and as long as it's an organizing name convention, it's all good. So we're going to call this one object cookie and we're going to call this one object game. You might have noticed, how did I create an object? I just did that without even thinking. Uh, right clicking on a folder, you'll see a little create button and you'll see all the things that you can create. And if you want to rename something, you can right click and also there's a rename option. I usually use F2 to rename things because it's quicker for me. Uh, you'll notice that there is nothing of note in this object. There's no sprite and there's no events. What are events? Events are the code of the object. So if I want to put this object in the game, all the instructions for what the object will do are in the code. And the events are the code. The sprites are the art and the events are the code. If I want to have an art, a, a visual representation of this cookie, I'll need to go create, then I'll need to go sprite. Now I'm gonna call this sprite cookie. Again, I can call it whatever I want, but I just want it for organizational purposes. So I know where everything is. And you will go to edit image. Now we're gonna draw a little cookie. As you can see, mine is snapped to grid, which I don't want. If I want to unsnap it, I click on this arrow and I click on the snap button. And now it's unsnapped. Now I can draw whatever cookie I want. Let's draw it very quickly so you can learn quicker. There's our cookie. And now you'll notice in the room, there's still no sprite because we need to double click on the object. We need to drag this sprite into the object. So remember, the sprite is the art and the object contains the code. Uh, there's even more edit imaging options down here, which I'm going to quickly fill in like this. There we go. Now we've got a little cookie there. All right. So now we are going to add an event. There's a lot of events here. The most important thing to know is that say we click on the create event, uh, of course, first we're going to only use GML code for this tutorial. Say the create event, all the code that happens in this event happens as soon as the object is created. That's all you need to know for now. For the step event, all the code in this event will happen every step. A step is a frame. You might have heard the term FPS in games before. It's the same thing here. Every step, every frame, all the code in this object will run. You might be wondering, well, is this a 60 frames per second game? How many frames per second is this game happening? If you go to game options, 
you'll see, I believe we need to go to main. You'll see it says the game's frames per second, 60. That pretty much just means all the step, all the code in the step event will happen 60 times a second. So if I have something like, hi, or if I have something like, yell, woo, that's not actual code, but just as an example, it will yell the word woo 60 times. But I, if I have this code in the create event, it will only yell it once, because this object is only created once. All right, if that doesn't make sense, it's okay. Hopefully it'll make more sense the more you experiment with it. So now we want, what we want to do is, we want to be able to click on this object. So we're gonna go if we click on it, then we want the number to go up. So let's say number plus one, right? Because that's what's happening in this one that we have over here, yeah? We click on it and the number goes up, yeah? That's what we're trying to recreate here. Uh, obviously, well, I say obviously, uh, but unobviously, this is not how the correct terms for writing this concept. So we need to talk to Game Maker in the language Game Maker understands. This is the code for doing that. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty similar. If you click, which is the same as writing, if you mouse check button press MB left, which just means left mouse button, if we're clicking it, then we're going to have a cookie number go up. The cookie number is the number you saw going up before. So if we do something like, I'm going to just copy paste this code that I wrote before. If you're checking this left mouse button, then we're going to make the cookie number go up. All right. If you want to learn more about what an, uh, this function does, this mouse check button press does, you can always middle click on it. You'll see a little prompt for the Game Maker manual. This is where you can learn a lot of things about what different things mean, like MB underscore left just means the left mouse button. All right, and you'll see, as I said, cookie number plus equals one, but we need to also create, well, you don't, you don't need to in Game Maker, but for this, the purposes of this tutorial, we want to create a cookie number because we want the number to start at zero, right? Be like, if you're plusing one to a cookie number, you need to know what cookie number is first. So in the create event, we're just gonna have cookie number equals zero. So now, when we run the game, you'll notice when we click on it, cookie number is going up. Well, actually, you won't notice it because you can't see the number going up. So how do we show the player that the number is going up? Because we know that it's going up in the code. We know that when we click on it, the number should be going up, right? How do we show the player? We're gonna close this. Also, while we're here, we're going to make it so that we can stretch the screen by allowing window resize and clicking apply. We're gonna go back to the cookie and we are going to go to the draw event. Draw. You can do a lot of things in this event, but for now, all you need to know is that it's similar to the step event in that it happens every single frame, happens every single second the game is running 60 times a second. And we are going to use a game maker function called draw text. X, Y, string. You might have noticed that when I hovered over it, you can see it says x, y, and string in the brackets. You can see at the bottom it says x, y, and string. What does this mean? It just means you need to give an x, a y, and a string for Game Maker to put into the draw text function. Uh, it's not a very good way of explaining it. And I'm not going to edit this out of the tutorial. All you need to know is that the x is where the cookie is right now. If you imagine this as a little big canvas, with X starting at, you can see at the bottom right here, the bottom left, sorry, that if your mouse is here and it says zero, zero, that means that the X and Y are both equal to zero. If I move my mouse to the right, you can see the number over here is going up. That means the X number over here is equal to 120. And if I go down, you'll see that over here, the Y number becomes 120. So where do we want the text to go? 
let's say we want the text to go over here. Well, what numbers are there? It says 78 and 82. So we're going to put 78 here, and we're going to put 82 there. On your screen, I highly recommend putting it somewhere else, just so you can experiment and understand where the text is going. And now we need a string to put in there. A string just means a uh, number of characters, it's a word, just a string of text. It can be something like hello, it can be something like cookie number. Uh, but we'll try hello first and see what happens. We press play and you can see it says hello. You also notice our cookie has disappeared. Uh, that is because we need to also type draw self. When you use a draw event, it overrides the sprite that you're drawing. So just remember to add draw self and we'll have the word hello there as you can see. But we don't want the word hello, do we? We want the cookie number. So make sure we put the word cookie number there and it should work all fine, right? Let's see what happens. No, it literally says the word cookie. We need to make sure to remove the quotation marks for anything that is not a word. We don't want to show the word, we want to show the inside bit of this variable. We want to show what's inside the word cookie number. All right, let's save it and press play. And now you can see there's a zero. If I click on it, the number goes up. The only issue is, of course, well, I should also say, make sure that you bug test your games because you never know if there's an issue, right? You need to make sure you try break it. As you can see, the number's going up even if we're not clicking on the cookie. So how do we fix this? We just need to make sure that the position of the mouse is touching the position of the cookie. And we can do this using another function. You might have seen it before, this position meeting function. So we need, to, I'm gonna copy paste this in. You can just type it in, of course. And we're going to make sure that the, actually we'll try it without the left mouse button first and we'll see what happens. So if position meeting mouse X, mouse Y and self, what this is saying is if the X of the mouse, remember X is the, the number down here, right? So the mouse is currently at X120. And if the mouse gets down over here, it's still 120, but now the Y of the mouse is also 120. So we want to make sure that the X and Y of the mouse is wherever the X and Y of the cookie is. Self is the cookie. It's the self, whatever object is here, it's, it's just the cookie. So we're checking if the X of the mouse and the Y of the mouse is overlapping the cookie. And if it is, we want the cookie number to be plus equal by one. So let's see what happens. Now, if we put the mouse over here, you can see it's just going up without even clicking it, which is a lovely effect, but that's not what we're going for. So we need to make sure that the position of the mouse is overlapping the cookie and that the mouse is clicking on only the cookie. So to do that, we need to have this little and and sign here, which just means if this is true and if this is true. So we'll check both things at the same time. We'll go insert, and and, button pressed, and be left. Now let's see what happens. If everything goes to plan, I'm gonna actually make the screen bigger. You can see now, if I click elsewhere, it won't work. If I click on here, the number will go up. Uh, as a little bonus, I'm gonna quickly add a different font to this text. I don't like that font. <laughs> if you want to create a different font, right click, create, and font. I'm using a font that I got that I will link in the description. It is a font made by Yellow Afterlife, I believe. And I just call it the mystery font. I, I believe it's just their default font. I'm gonna change the size of it uh, so it's a bit smaller in the game and we're going to go back to the draw event and we just need to remember to add draw set font and the name of the font that we created font underscore mystery and there you have it this is how you create a little example of a little clicker game there you go now you might have noticed in my other project that i had some extra things like i had a 
extra object game and an extra object text. I can go through that in a future video on why I chose to make those choices. And I can also go through how to create a shop of sorts similar to the game Cookie Clicker. Um, but that is only if it is requested. So if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments that you want more. And I will hopefully make another tutorial. And if you have any suggestions for what you want in those tutorials, especially if it can be added to this existing game, let me know. That's all. Thank you for watching.